So now, out of all the herbs that are out there, which one has the most antioxidants? Now, and out of all the categories of different types of foods, herbs are at the top of the list as far as giving you the most antioxidants. And antioxidants are additional health benefits to the vitamins and the minerals and the other um, nutrients that are in uh, food. And this would also include the phytonutrients because antioxidants are not just about getting rid of free radical damage. They give you a lot of other amazing um, health benefits. Now, there's two lists here. Um, this list right here is kind of like fresh herbs. This is more powdered. So basically, I'm going to cover both lists because oregano has the most antioxidants, but if you're getting a powdered herb, clove has the most antioxidants. So it really depends on some other factors, but we're just going to look at oregano and then we'll just talk about clove as well. Now, oregano is amazing because it's a very, very powerful antimicrobial um, herb that you can take for all sorts of like hidden infections that you might have. So people take it if they have chronic fatigue syndrome, Epstein-Barr virus, if they have some fungus or some type of yeast infection or candida or even uh, something called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. But oregano has amazing properties as an antimicrobial, as well as many other ones. Now, sage is very good for uh, a condition where you're sweating for no reason. Sage would be a good herb to take because it supports um, the parasympathetic nervous system and inhibits the sympathetic nervous system, which is like the flight or fight. So it's a, it has a very unique action. Next one is peppermint. Peppermint is very easy to grow. It's like a weed, um, but it actually is good for your digestive system. So people take peppermint to help bloating and to help increase the bile release from your liver. And you can definitely do it in a tea as well, especially after you eat. Thyme is an herb that is antimicrobial. Um, a lot of times people take thyme and clove together because they're antimicrobial. In fact, they take thyme, clove, and oregano uh, for any type of um, bacterial or viral infection that's going on. So that's what thyme is. And let me just kind of bounce right to clove. Clove is good to put on you know, a tooth that is in pain or even abscess in your, in your mouth. Put it right over there because it has a numbing agent. It's very powerful antimicrobial. And specifically, it has very powerful anti-parasitic actions. So it's good for parasites. All right, then we have allspice. This is a good, good thing to take if you're in pain or you have inflammation. Um, it tastes like a combination of uh, three things, nutmeg, cinnamon, and clove all together. And then we have cinnamon right here. Cinnamon is uh, good for a lot of things, but especially blood sugars. If someone has a blood sugar issue, Cinnamon can help them greatly. Lemon balm, that's very, very good at calming the nervous system, helping you sleep, reducing stress. Rosemary is, as an oil, you can put it topically on your scalp to stimulate hair growth. Very effective. It's also a powerful antibacterial. All right, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of data on the amazing powerful effects that phytonutrients and antioxidants can give you, which are in addition to the vitamins and minerals and trace minerals that you have in our food supply. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.